Hello people and welcome back to my channel. This is PC Maximum Gameplay and uh, we are going to finish uh, this playlist of The Walking Dead that we started and you can find the first two uh, parts of the episode 1 on my uh, channel. Uh, the reason of my absence I've uh, been away for 3 weeks I believe because I was playing Diablo 3 the season period. And I'm, uh, I guess, at uh, Paragon uh, 333, and I'm planning to reach 400 before I upload the video to, to you guys to tell you what the season is all about and what you can get out of it uh, uh, in uh, regards to the content and all the fun that you can get out of uh, a hack and slash game such as Diablo 3. Uh, meanwhile, uh, just to tell you the good news guys, uh, now we are able to upload videos on 1080p 60fps for your full enjoyment and uh, we are now officially a ma Machinima uh, partner so um, it's very good because now we can play a lot of video games uh, without having uh, YouTube publishers restrictions and let the monetization uh, decision remain with Machinima this way we can just have a little bit of freedom compared to the other issues that we had previously uh, with YouTube uh, possibly uh, uh, sending a lot of uh, restrictions and uh, and thank God like uh, the channel is still in the, a good status uh, before uh, the monetization was disabled so uh, I thank Machinima also for helping me out on uh, doing the the thing that i love the most in my life um so uh you will find a lot of videos uh of video gaming uh, from now on uh, i would just be uploading at least twice a week uh, for your enjoyment guys so so don't forget to subscribe uh, like my videos and put a comment uh, your support is much appreciated so we're gonna finish uh, what we started here we are playing the walking dead uh, episode 1 still but uh, we last time we uh, stopped at uh, when uh, that girl like uh, shoot herself in the head uh, because she was bitten anyway so she, so Glenn was stupid thinking like if he uh, just take her out of her room uh, she will be saved but apparently it made her life even worse uh, if not really to say so because uh, maybe he helped her just to get rid of herself uh, faster I would say but uh, she's gonna turn to a zombie anyway so she could have stayed in that room forever or just uh, wait like uh, till she uh, turns to a zombie or just uh, have the help of Glenn who decided to take her out of that room and she end up shooting herself anyways so I'm just gonna shut up for a while and let those people talk I'm just gonna roam around and probe for some information before we take any other action. How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. So as you can see guys, there is something that popped out on the left uh, top of the uh, screen that says uh, you checked out on Clementine and I think this will uh, change a little bit of uh, the influence that you have with your rest of your characters so, so that's why I have to go around and check uh, even if it is a little bit boring but uh, bear with me guys, we'll uh, be out of this place sometime soon. How you doing man? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man.
Back's the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Now he's blaming me for not telling her to uh, take the gun. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. I, I honestly thought, like, I already supplied her with the batteries. I don't get it. Like, am I missing something here? I remember very well like picking them up from here somewhere and just giving it to her and I'm just surprised that she's looking still for those batteries unless it's in my inventory and I have to do something about it and I wait a second back to it. yep not that like uh, how am I supposed to check my inventory on the side hmm. funny not sure how I should do that, but I'm trying to. Nope. Um, okay. Anyway, so let's see. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I can't reach that brick. should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm quite sure there was, there was an item for me to um, either switch on the TVs on the shop there or something like that that I forgot behind me or something. But uh, I'm quite sure that the batteries were already given to this lady, so I'm not sure what the hell is going on now. Um, unless I don't have to revisit that uh, unique room, uh, which is uh, which th the only one I have access for. So let me just go back there and see if I forgot something. <laughs> that was just funny. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? 
What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh gosh, she just told me this in front of that little girl and I'm quite sure she's gonna question it. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Funny that she did not even question uh, that conversation, but let me see if I can it's get... Oh, the uh, there you go. I knew there was something. Is it gonna make this TV work? That's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, it does. So I guess uh, with this we can uh, switch on the uh, TVs on that shop to draw the attention of the uh, zombies. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? I knew it. You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Okay, okay, now we have the remote, so I guess we're not gonna waste time, but go straight forward to, uh, what was his name, Doc? I think he was... How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Sure thing. Let's have a look outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. <laughs> Dark nonsense makes him alright. The codes of all the TVs. Really That's hasn't. sick. That's bullshit, actually. I got a few of them to take notice. Do you see that zombie and his jaw like dropping? Like, ah, oh, awesome! I never saw a TV before. So that did not draw their attention, so what I'm supposed to do now? Mm -hmm. So am I supposed to pick that brick? Okay, wait, let me first of all break this lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. So uh, I'm not gonna use a remote in a lock, it's stupid, but since I have the option to do so, <laughs> hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. As if I could. Uh, that's stupid, so let me talk to him. Do you think we are safe here? Those things like TV? Those things like TV? Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. 
Yeah, well, guess what? Like, if I could reach that bridge, I could just pick it up and uh, throw it at uh, that window so that the sound of the TVs will uh, distract them. But this guy doesn't want me to open the lock. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh, are you stupid? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Oh, well, now I can. Awesome. How to distract those things carefully. I can't reach that brick. <laughs> oh, my God, this is super scary. Showtime! <laughs> Now's the time. Well, this honestly reminds me of the last World Cup in Brazil. This is how people were in the, work, in the coffee shops and everything. Let me go and grab the keys before they see me. Be careful. Keep an eye out. Holy shit, that was nasty. Come on. Die already. Holy shit. The guy still alive? Or is this like too exaggerated? Quite sure if I turn around, like I'll find a horde of zombies just waiting for me. Unless the TV show was that excellent. There we go. Holy take crap. your time, take your time, Run. piece of shit. Of course. I hope they're gonna bite you. That's so stupid, man. The guy took all his time. And now he runs. <laughs> of course, leave the door open. That's smart. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. So now it's time to go and pick up the drugs uh, for that guy to not die. All right, all right. So, are we supposed? Oh, oh. No. 
We gotta hurry. Oh, very good, very good. In case you guys are wondering, this is how I wake up before I go to work every day. <laughs> Not really with a screwdriver on my shoulder, but... Doc, come on, there'll be time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me! Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here! You got it! Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Mike, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? That I should know. Yes. Oh, Are you sure? Yes. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, bro, but she knows a secret that uh, she wanted to hide from people and help me out with it. So that's why I tried to help her. Oh, holy shit, man. So this is how you thank me? I brought you your medication and all that shit? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. <laughs> Thanks, man. Even if he is an asshole. That guy's gonna pay the price for shit. I am shocked. I helped him out. I just brought him the medication. We did all of this just because of him. And at the end. He punches me right in my face where there is a horde of zombies just behind me. Um, on top of that, as I said, like I have to save the girl because she was holding a secret that uh, I trusted her on it. And she uh, promised to not tell anyone about it. Versus dog, which I didn't have like a lot of interaction. So I would prefer the other lady compared to dog. I completely forgot her name, but that was my decision. Uh, I guess like if you guys would uh, go and watch a couple of other videos you'll find people taking other decisions and this is what the game is all about. It's based on the decisions that you make.
Okay, go ahead. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Well, I tried to stop him from doing it, but apparently it did not help. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. She can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Well, that was a lot appreciated, but I need to figure out where is the other bastard so I'll make him pay for what he did to me. Um, but I guess like I'll have to roam around and talk, talk to people first. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Sure. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. And he's telling me to come here what for a second, want? seriously? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. 
But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You'd better watch hey, your ass Lee? instead. Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Of course it's gonna be okay. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and uh, this is what coming up next. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry you as much like bandits. the episode 2 looks more interesting uh, so don't forget to subscribe people and like my videos and comment on it uh, it will be a lot appreciated I hope I'm gonna see you on my next video as I said uh, I'll be uploading videos at least twice a week uh, so uh, keep in touch and uh, let me know about the quality of my videos and uh, thank you again for being here and enjoy gaming and I'll see you on my next video Good.